hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm just gonna jump straight into it as you can see i'm using a 12 inch cambodian straight u-part wig that i got from the company so wigs and if you don't know a u-part wig is just a wig that you leave your hair out it's basically like a sew-in but not a sew-in it's like a half wig and those were the little accessories that it came with or whatever and after I took the wig out, I just washed and conditioned it with this cheap shampoo and conditioner that I bought. And it was literally like so cheap, it was like 70 cents. And then I blow dried it, but I felt like that was unnecessary because I already air dried the hair. So I thought that was pointless. So I just went on to straightening it and I'm gonna show you guys a couple little clips of me straightening it and whatnot. It was pretty self-explanatory. Straightening is not that hard. The heat setting was like 450, I believe. This straightener is really good. Like it goes up to like 475, I believe. Yeah, 475. It's a really good straightener. I can put the link down below and all that stuff. So this is the final look of the hair. I wasn't too happy with the ends. I was showing you that right there. So I did cut them. And this is what it looked like after I cut it. Like look at that body guys. The hair looks so good. I was so proud of myself. Like seriously. But yeah that's how the hair looked after I cut all the ends off and whatnot. So this is my hair freshly washed and I used the Suave Professional Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'm just going to be showing you guys how I prep my hair for the wig. And yeah, just keep watching. Three days later. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been like three or four days since you guys last saw me. And that's because I was gonna do the hair, but it was hot. I wasn't going nowhere. I was just like, there's no point. So I kind of just left my hair. And I already like braided it down. So I left these two out so I could leave that leave out. But when I tried the wig on, I
So a mistake that I made is that I didn't put the heat so high and I mean I did that because I didn't want heat damage but I redid the style a couple days ago and I put it on 400 degrees and it straightened like so nicely. I wish that I had just put the heat up because you're going to see me saying at the end that like my hair just kept puffing up as I was trying to straighten it, straightening it, as I was trying to straighten it. And I just wish that I had put the heat higher, but I mean, you learn, so yeah, but I put like, I think I said, yeah, 270 degrees, I put it, and I should have put it higher, because literally, it was just like, what, how I imagined it in my head is not how it was coming out, so I was literally getting frustrated, but I mean, in the end, it came out okay, but at least now I know to just put the temperature a little bit higher and yeah so guys this is the end result um i don't know how i feel about it because my it's hot like so my hair is literally puffing up as i'm straightening it and that's what causes heat damage because you're gonna keep straightening it over and over and over and i'm like nah it's not okay but if it was like if it was like straight like this it would have been cuter maybe like when it's cold outside but this is definitely not a summer style i mean it's cute but it's cute, but this is what the back looks like. That's how long it is. But, um, it is cute, but, okay, like, y'all see the puffiness right here. Like, that's the only thing pissing me off, and it's hot, so I'm probably just gonna, like, pull it back anyway, just because I'm actually having a cookout at my house right now. I'm actually having a cookout at my house right now, so. hair although my hair like was puffing up it wasn't that it's not ugly like i just yeah it's the hair like it's too hot because my hair is not hard to straighten because it's thin but like the fact that um it's hot outside and then uh, it's hot in here that's why i put my skin right in front of me so that i can feel it and i'm barely feeling it
Thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, I didn't stop touching it. That's why it's perfect. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for other videos. And yeah, so. Oh my god. I really wish it was perfect. But, anyways, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, bye.